So the first thing I want to do is take the whole family for a walk and just get them to relax. First, you teach them to follow you, right? Uh, short, not tense. Okay. Short, not tense. He's learning to be right next to you, focus on the rhythm. Right. We don't get insecure. We don't feel not confident. Right. We stay calm, assertive. So he can read off us and say that yeah. he's safe because we're fine. That's we're right. fine with those dogs. Look how we're taking so. it. Yeah. It's how we take it. Your wife is going to react based on how you take it. Your kids are going to react based on how you take it. You're the source. See, the breathing went away. Yeah. She's adjusting. Ready? Yeah. You're going to grab the leash, short, okay. not tense. There it is. Short, not tense. Yeah. You're a big boy, so <laughs> keep it up right there. This is a problem, Doug. All right, Andy. Hi, my name's Jason Cohn. This is my wife, Ren. And the little guy you see right here on the edge of your screen, that's our yeah. oldest son, Levi. Our youngest son's out of the screen, and that's Riker. Yeah. And this guy right here is Kona. He is a 18-month-old boxer greyhound mix, we believe. We adopted Kona about a year ago. We wanted a family dog, as well as my husband has some PTSD issues that we thought a service dog would be of help. I deployed as a medic into Afghanistan. I was there for 12 months. I was out in the combat situation, not on the cop, almost every day. There was a lot of times where I had to help people. And when I came back initially from combat, uh, it was really rough for me. Now, it's not the big issues that kept with me. It's when you go out to a family event and there's 40 people there, and all of a sudden your hands start sweating and you can't catch your breath. Um, so what we wanted Kona for, and what he's actually done for us instinctively, is if he sees me being agitated or what, he'll come over and bump me. And that's something that he just knows. I didn't even have to train him for that. It really started off those first two months. He was the ideal dog. I couldn't have asked for more. He was the perfect match to me. And then six months ago, he just started going from anytime Levi would come over to him while he was laying down, he'd start growling at him. And he started showing teeth. As soon as Levi was old enough to start walking and running around and being a normal toddler that wants to crawl on top of him and pull on his ears and tail, it's become a huge problem. Levi, be nice. We have had moments where we are just crying because we do not know what to do or how this is going to affect us if we have to get rid of Kona. I honestly don't know what my husband would do without him. This has become a stress between us and our marriage. Me and my wife have argued about this because she doesn't feel safe with the kids at home. And he's really bonded with me and he makes me forget a lot of the stuff. But... You know, I don't like about what has happened, but I mean, it, it'll be rough. I, I don't know. I'm not just gonna cookie cutter and grab another dog and try to fill a hole. So. Caesar, I finally found a dog that kind of understands me and uh, he just knows me so well. And when it comes down to it, the decision between my family and the dog, it's gotta be my family, but I really love to keep both. And you're our last hope. This breaks my heart. PTSD is a serious condition that a dog can really help with, but Jay's concern is endangering his family. The dog wants to be with the kid, but the kid has no boundaries. So the kid goes into his intimate space. Levi. Too rough. Yeah. Can the dog bite? Yes, he's already saying many times, I'm gonna show you that if you come any closer, and that's when it's gonna be bad. Then everybody's gonna blame the dog. Uh, yeah, and it's not the dog's fault. It's best if they get rid of the habits they have formed with the child. Teach them how to be together. Yeah. How to be gentle. Yeah. Right now, they're part of fear nation. We want them to be part of dog, dog nation. nation. The only way to work through this level of anxiety what is, that? is face to face. Veterans help our nation, and I need to help this vet and his dog. How are you, family? Hello. Hi. Looking forward to help you. Jay? Yes. Pleasure, sir. Nice to meet you, I'm sir. Ren? Ren? Nice, nice to meet, to meet you, you ma'am. Which one is Levi? This bone right ah. here is Levi. So I'm ready to help. Well, why don't we start inside? Let's go. Well, I think the first thing, when everyone started showing up, and when Caesar came in, and when he really started talking to us, I was extremely anxious. Felt like I was going to throw up. Yeah, people he doesn't know, too many people in and out of the house, and his emotions and the way he is 
reflects on me as well. Well, I saw your video, perfect dog. He's a good dog, yeah. So, but the problem is the interaction between Levi and Kona. Yeah. You think it's a dog, you think it's Levi? I think we have to work with both. Go grab your milk. Levi's got to know that he can't just terrorize a dog or can't use him as a play thing. He's got to respect No, he can. He just have to learn how to play gentle games. Yes, yeah. but also, I have a lot of anxiety. Kona, I feel, has a lot of anxiety. Kona is anxious around a lot of people. To the point he's being defensive of us, but he gets very defensive of his kennel. He gets very defensive of if it's just me and him walking around and the strangers come up. If we're out and about and there's a dog or someone comes up, he cowers next to Jay. He's stressed, big time. It's really about him understanding to feel safe and follow. He's living his life afraid of yep. everything and everyone. And so do you. Jay is a veteran suffering from PTSD. His service dog, Kona, is helping him manage his anxieties. But Kona has begun acting dangerously around their son, Levi. Levi. They need to take charge of the situation and fast. He's living his life afraid of yep. everything and everyone. And so do you, because that energy yes. travels in the house. So we have a dog who's afraid, we are afraid of him. The concept of not trusting 100% is part of the lifestyle. That's fear. So you have to address that situation to build the trust. And then they see that you know what they need. So let's work on that first. Sounds good. Gain some control on that. Are you ready or yeah, what? Yeah, I'm ready. Let's see. <sighs> it's clear that both Jay and Ren have some form of anxiety and it's trickling down to Kona. So the first thing I want to do is take the whole family for a walk and just get them to relax. First, you teach them to follow you, right there. Short, not tense. Okay. Sure, not tense. He's learning to be right next to you, focus on the rhythm. Right. We don't get insecure. We don't feel not confident. Right. We stay calm, assertive. So he can read off us and say that yeah. he's safe because we're fine. That's we're right. fine with those dogs. Look how we're taking so. it. Yeah. It's how we take it. Your wife is going to react based on how you take it. Your kids are going to react based on how you take it. You're the source. See, the breathing went away. Yeah. She's adjusting. Ready? Yeah. You're going to grab the leash, short, okay. not tense. There you go. Sure, not tense. Yeah, you're a big boy, so keep it up right there. Yeah. Up, up, up. Don't yeah. look on the floor okay. or the dog. It's about forward. Where we're going. Yeah, from A to B. You're leading the family. You're the protector. You want to accomplish calmness. You want to accomplish love. That's the only thing should exist. All right. Take a break from fear. Feels good? Yeah. Feels good? Yeah. Jay relies on his service dog, Kona, for his PTSD. But the dog is getting anxious and aggressive around the children. The entire family loves Kona, but there will be no harmony unless I can teach them how to be confident pack leaders. There you go, right there. Now it's Ren's turn to be assertive. Uh, see, see how you're looking at the dog? Mm -hmm. You're looking at the dog like you're thinking the dog has to do it. He's going to feel it as, as what? You're not sure. Right, that I'm hesitant. <laughs> She's like suspicious. Power pose. Okay. Confident woman, okay. calm woman. <laughs> Whatever the gender is, is the same energy, right. by the way. I stay at home with both of the boys. I know I need to take Kona for a walk, but just the thought of it is disastrous. So I'm scared, which is, is not good for him. <laughs> I usually have both of the kids, and uh -huh. so he's reading my energy yeah. of nervousness, yeah. and he's reading Levi's excitement, and yeah. it's just a mess. You are in the animal world, it's energy. So Levi is excitement, you are nervousness. Oh, yes. So we change our energy, and then we change how they feel. OK. Yeah, because he's perfect right now. That's better. See, now this hit up is feeling good. That's good. <laughs> that's the assertiveness. Right. Yeah, the confidence, the joy. That's, that's how it should feel walking with a dog. It's never like this. <laughs> he's learning this is the new normal. Simply walking Kona down the road with him being as calm as he was, Caesar showed us that it was so much easier to be able to walk him without him being excited and pulling and to be able to walk my kids next to him was awesome. This guy is ready. Now you know how to do it. We have to start showing him that we're protecting him and he can trust us. That way he can start feeling more comfortable, less fearful. And after seeing the difference in Kona, the weight started coming off my shoulders. And it's something that I haven't been able to feel in a long time. Levi, you did great, dude. Five. Awesome. Oh, oh, all right. All right. There is more work to be done, but this was a good first step for Jay and Ren. Thank you very much. Yes, sir. Happy to help. So, but the problem 
is the interaction between Levi and Kona. Today, I will show Jay how to burn off some of Kona's nervous energy so he won't be a threat to his young sons. Well, you look definitely different. Uh, it's totally different, yeah? yeah. By taking them for a bike ride. Always start this way. Never make it excited. You want to go on the bike? Never trigger that. Because mm -hmm. you want the speed when you run. You don't want the speed when you're waiting. So here, this is really good. And we move. I'm going to engage. See, this is when you pull back, so he does the pulling. He goes into that rhythm. Can you see it? Yeah. You see in the evolution, right? You see it, yeah. See, he learns to stay away from the bike. Eventually, Levi is going to be on the bike. Yeah. <laughs> That's a good activity. Yeah, we're looking forward to it. Good boy, good boy. Now I'm going to switch it. Kona is responding really well to this. So now I'm going to have Jay do it using a bike leash. Let's go. Yeah. Don't pedal it. Yeah, let him do the job. There you go. That's the feeling, right? Yeah. <laughs> the family is beginning to feel comfortable with Jay's service dog around their son. But I still need to bring this calm awareness into the household, too. Oh, look at Levi. Jay and Ren have been working with their therapy dog, Kona, to stop the aggression he's developing around their toddler, Levi. You oh. dad did it! I can hardly believe it! <laughs> <laughs> So how's it going? Have you seen any difference? Absolutely. We've taken him for four walks. Already? Yeah. Oh, yes. And he did great. Now that Jay has drained some of Kona's nervous energy, it's time to work with Levi. Even this two-year-old can learn how to relate to Kona in a calm, safe way. So Kona can trust Levi not to hurt him. You want me to read a book? I want Levi to do a fun activity in front of Kona's kennel. It's a simple way for them to connect with that actual physical touch. Nice. Right, I'm going to count. Levi, hey, do you want to read a book? Here, let me read it. Why don't you read a book to Oh, Kona? thank you. Awesome. You want to read a book? Read a book to Caesar. Please, Please. come on. <laughs> uh, come on. Go back. If the book doesn't work, they still need to find some other quiet time activity around Kona so he can learn to relax around Levi. Yeah, your blocks. Okay. Okay. Let's you want to sort them out? Yeah. What are we building? One more. One more. <laughs> Good job. This is what I wanted. Levi is playing quietly right next to Kona and is building trust between them. Kona now knows that he can be right next to Levi without worrying that Levi will hurt him. The final test to see if even Levi can become a pack leader for Kona. You go for a walk, Levi? Yeah. yeah. Let's go for a walk. Come on. You're gonna help walk Kona. I have one final test to see if Jay, who suffers from PTSD, can keep his therapy dog Kona around his son. You, it's your turn. I want Levi to take Kona for a walk. If he can do that, Jay and Ren will feel so much more relaxed. And it will provide one more activity for them to do as a family. You ready to go for a walk, Levi? Yeah. yeah. Let's go for a walk. Come on. Watch your step. Good job. Look how he walks tall, you know, good power pose. He knows he's in charge of the house. Yeah. So. yeah. <laughs> he's so proud of himself. Yeah. <laughs> Are you taking Kona for a walk? Walk. Walk. Good job. Yes. See, it affects the whole family in a good way. <laughs> <laughs> we went on a family walk, and Levi got to hold one of the leads, and he really liked it. He felt part of the experience, and that's something that we can really incorporate so that he's learning the right way to do it. To be able to take his energy and put it towards something positive so he's not chasing Kona around, causing the fear, the anxiety. So that, in turn, is helping Kona. It's building that trust between Kona and Levi that was never there. You know you can make a lot of money if you become a dog walker. <laughs> <laughs> Sometimes you get your own TV show. <laughs> Good job, bud. Yeah, fantastic. Good job. There is hope now that Jake can benefit from Kona's therapy without worrying about his family. It was coming down to the point where if you hadn't come and shown us the simple things that we can change to really help them out, we would have probably already found a new home for Kona, uh, and it would have broke our heart. But as long as we can stick with what you taught us, which I think we can, I think they're going to be fast friends. We're all going to go through the ups and downs in our lives. So in order for them not to be affected, 
It's best if they stay calm. I feel like we finally have a direction. We're on the same page. We weren't before. We were fighting about what we were going to do with the dog that we love. Now we're focused on moving forward together on the same page, and it's awesome. We always wanted Kona to be a family dog and a therapy dog. It's just the issues constantly were popping up, made him less family. But now he's definitely going to be a family dog, and that's what our family needed. Thank you very much. Thank Appreciate you so it. Much. Thank, you. Thank you, buddy. Appreciate it. Oh, OK. <laughs> well, there you go. They, they do follow the example. Bye, guys. Thank you Bye, so much. Thank you. When Jay made Kona, Kona was able to help Jay overcome his anxiety. Now the relationship has come full circle. Jay has now the right knowledge, the right tools to help Kona overcome his insecurities. Guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. Make sure you like, subscribe, and comment, and join me on my mission of better humans, better planet.